Hello everyone, RFD Sun here back with yet another diecast car video and today we have the Lotus Avaya number 8 out of 10 from Hot Wheels Exotics number 229 over 280 and as I promised I will review this car and I am gonna do it so let's go ahead and open this up So, I did do a short previously with the Lotus Amira. Well, I will be reviewing that soon. Um, but stay tuned if you want to watch the Amira. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss the video when it's uploaded. So here we have the Lotus Avaya, which is uh, a first release. And by the way, this is from the end case of 2022. This is the first edition in this awesome looking British racing green. More of like a dark green perhaps. Honestly, it looks pretty nice. You have some yellow, uh, I would say trim, but no, I don't think so. It's more of, uh, it's like a different color tone with yellow. Yellow is for the plastic parts of the inside of the car. So, yeah. So basically, this car is available in the N and P case of 2022. This car is a fully electric hyper car, and this and it is one of the first British electric hyper cars in the world so basically this car in the US in real life the cost of this car is quite insane it starts at 2.3 million dollars and to my surprise this car basically has four electric motors motors on each car uh, I mean each of the wheels behind the wheels of course and it can produce 2000 horsepower which is insane for a hyper car made by Lotus because you already know Lotus Lotus uh, normally does the Lotus uh, of course the Emira the uh, Evora and some other cars and even the Elise but this one, this is one of their insane hyper cars which they just threw on 2,000 horsepower onto this car which is insane for a hyper car which is fully electric. So basically, this car has uh, wait, um, this car has automatic butterfly doors basically butterfly wing doors and uh, yeah it kind of makes it uh, more insane so let's take a look at the car here's the Lotus Avaya like I said in British racing green fully black wheels and the rims which uh, makes the car much more beautiful as you look at it so as you can see on the side you have the uh, airflow hole which of course this does not have the hole but if it's in real life it would have a hole here which would come out at this hole back here to create more downforce and more um, aerodynamic of course and that's in yellow by the way here is the front as you can see there those are the headlights which looks pretty great I mean at least they kind of painted it a bit black and white you have the uh, air vents on the hood which looks great they even made it yellow here too Lotus logo there looks pretty great 
Now, the roof, the windshield, and the side uh, windows are basically all together and they're all uh, plastic see-through uh, plastic like I said just now. So there's the side of the car. Here's the back. Now this version is with the spoiler up. As you already know this car has a spoiler which can pop up anytime. Not really anytime I think. I think it only pops up when you go fast or so. But yeah, by the way, this car has a top speed of 320 mi uh, 20 kilometers per hour, which is insane. And it has a 0 to 300 kilometers per hour in just 9 seconds. That's like, what, how many times? I'm a, I have no idea. I mean, like, it's an insane looking car. Here's the rear. As you can see, the rear lights are basically at that hole that I said just now. The hole that the air came out from the side of the door. Which uh, came out here. The, 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 the rear lights are actually a, just a line with the hole. Pretty nice. Rear diffuser right here. Looks pretty good. You have a does it have a Lotus logo? Yeah, it, wait, no, it does not. Okay, it turns out it does not have a Lotus at the back. Maybe it does, I'm not sure. To the base here. Lotus, hold on. Um, Lotus Avaya, made in Malaysia, 2021 Mattel. Anyway, awesome looking car, looks very nice, can't wait to unbox the, I mean to open up the Emir after this, like maybe soon, or um, once I reach the Q case, is it the Q case? yeah, once I reach the Q case, then we'll see the Emir and maybe I'll put it side by side with this car, I'm not sure, who knows. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See you in my other videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.